I'm so proud of each individual space, but honestly, something is not working for me. So you guys have seen us make over space by space individually, but now I think it's time to finally pull everything together. Oh my God, it looks so good. No! Hi guys, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls and welcome back to Wow Fives. This is a series where we have moved into and slowly been making over all parts of our loft, garage, office studio space where we film, edit, and work on everything Sorry Girls. In the last episode, we finished the studio space of our office with the gorgeous wall divider that brought it all together. So we've done all of the major spaces in this studio as individual episodes, but today we're coming back in and just finishing up the final things that maybe need a little bit more TSG love. We've worked on them all kind of separately, but today it's time to look at everything as a unit, pull it all together, make it really feel like one final cohesive space. So something we didn't know that we were looking for for our space were new couches. We were actually browsing Kijiji and saw a posting of a couple different couches. We thought they would look so good in our space. And once we saw the price that it was posted for, we just, we did it. Sold, signed, delivered. It's ours. Okay, new couches. I'm excited. Me too. I feel like this is like the first like cool piece of furniture I've ever bought. Oh! I don't know, it's cool. Ah! Oh my God. I love the color. I'm so glad it's not like a, a this white. No, no, I thought no. it would be and I was like, mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go. How do these, can I? I don't, you might be able to with the right, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so good. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> ah! Sorry. If the back is so much heavier, that's why. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Danny's like, what are you doing? Okay, okay. This is good. <laughs> Mom will stop screaming. <laughs> Was that the biggest piece? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> wow. This is like our best find ever. I know. <laughs> so all four pieces of this couch finally made their way into the office. They aren't like styled or fully placed yet, but I can already tell it's going to look so good. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed too. So they're gonna go over here. Just as a little update to this space, which will be great. I think that's only the real thing that needs to happen in here. I think obviously just general tidying. Oh yeah, we're gonna hang up that whiteboard. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> no, it is good. The only, like I never, this couch has never been like the best fit for this space, but we yeah. just used it because we had it from the old space. So I'm glad those are coming. But then I, I worry that this won't work with that, right? Oh, this is too much. But yeah. I think we can find a place for this. Okay, okay. So back out here, I feel like we just need to do some more finals here as far as sealing this. And then I feel like it's very white. So what do you think about painting this? I think it'd be good to bring in like the colors we have more onto the cinder block where we can. Yeah. And um, then I really want to do a light because it's pretty dark over here when our overheads are off. Oh yeah. Yeah, over here it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of... And if you want to get your coat, I can't see anything. Which coat is mine? It's too dark. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it. So we'll fix it. Color, light, it'll look great. Let's get the lights back on. <laughs> so then I think, oh yeah, maybe some like a rug situation here. I know we had a rug. Yeah. They're currently all in there doing soundproofing duties. I actually have one in my house that I might not be using. So that could okay. be an option. Cool. Danny, let's go. I think I know where we should put those armchairs. This sad little corner. This is the corner of rejected furniture pieces Literally. that didn't have a home, honestly. Which is why I want to move those rejected furniture pieces to here. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like this wasn't a big enough space in our mm -hmm. loft to like actually have an episode, but we definitely need to like bring in some color here. Yeah. Um, and our team has grown even more. So we have another member, I think just like more sitting space. And um, now we need to be mindful of like spacing out more too. Yeah, so, I mean, I think it just makes sense to bring those chairs in here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're so weird. This is my friend. <laughs> um, I think bringing in those armchairs here and then some kind of like table situation that you could actually work at. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're cool off it. Yeah, we're cool. So you like 
sit, you lounge to work. Yeah, it's like a coffee shop. Yeah, pick, like. your, pick your spot. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, so <laughs> I think this could be like another little work area and it, it's a little gateway to our backyard, which will be a future episode. <laughs> We have a backyard, Zini. That's good for you, isn't yes. it? Oh Grass. <laughs> wow. Okay. So is that the most of it then? Yeah, it's like not that much, but oh yeah, and maybe a couple other little touches. Small things. But... Small things. Okay, but I think first thing we should do is like get these couches in position. Yeah, the best part. <sighs> so these will go back in that corner. This is yours, man. This furniture has been around. I still love that so much. I don't know where it's gonna go, but I think it's such a good project. Gotta keep it. Keep it in the mems. Danny, you wanna ride on it? Ah, <laughs> come here. Actually, I don't think he'll do it. Up, up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> good call. It would be cute though if he did. I actually haven't even sat in it yet. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice, isn't it? Look at team meetings. Nice. When we don't have to distance. Nice, right Danny? Nice. So the next project is this huge garage door. We love it so much. It makes it so much easier to bring in furniture or building supplies versus our old office where we had a couple flights of stairs uh, and small doorways. This has been a game changer. But let's be honest, it's a little bit of an eyesore. So we're actually going to do a curtain that spans the whole width. So this is gonna cozy up the space a little bit. It's going to hopefully help with soundproofing because it is a soft fabric. And I'm even thinking in the winter, it's gonna help with insulation. There's just a lot of perks to this curtain. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the paint and curtain color for this area. Cowboy boots. Hmm, okay. I wanna just see what it looks like over here. No, it doesn't really work for that. That's it. Now that I have a good idea of colors, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out how big we need this curtain to actually be. It's a big curtain, probably the biggest curtain I've ever done. That's a lie, we did some big curtains before. Allegra, upgrade my stay. Spoke too soon. This is another big ass curtain. <laughs> Danny? Danny, what's the measuring tape say down there? Come here. Is that like 12 feet? Like 14 feet? Oh yeah? That much? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Let's head on over to the fabric store to get some samples. Ah, so nice. <laughs> Danny was a fabric. This, this ain't it. Actually, that's kind of cool. Did I play it too safe? Becky would not go for it. <laughs> okay. Take these to Becky. <laughs> Welcome to my DIY show. What are you presenting to me? Okay, I picked paint samples, but then I realized that it kind of depends on the fabric. Mm. But these are some beautiful fabrics I picked out. This gives me like fake fur vibes. Oh, interesting. Danny? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the question is what paint color? I mean, my thought was kind of like these guys, but I think we might need to change that thought a little bit. Cracked wheat. Are you gluten free? <laughs> Once we decided on the paint color for the front area, we're actually going to bring this color in between the vanity area and the office area at the back so that this new lounge has a little bit of life to it. First, I started by sketching the new design. I need to make sure this is going to blend really nicely with the shape we already did in the vanity area, and then I can get to painting. While Becky's painting near the office space, I have gotten started over by the garage area. So while the paint dries, I need to get started on figuring out how we're gonna do this giant curtain in front of the garage door. Probably the biggest curtain I've ever installed. 
I'm calling up a friend who I think can help me source a pole that will work as our giant curtain rod. Okay, so I need to source um, basically a 13 foot, like one inch metal pole. Basically what we're trying to do in our office, we need to put up a curtain that's really long. Would a metal pole that's like screwed into concrete not be able to hold like a good amount of weight? Oh, 100%. I'm just trying to think of how thick of a pole you need. Right. If you buy those end caps then, and then tell me like what size pole mm -hmm. you need to go in it, mm -hmm. and then I can uh, just cut the pole at Bangor or whatever, and then uh, bring it to your house. Okay, perfect. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, bye. Yeah, bye. I love when someone else can help me solve my problems. <laughs> Now it's time to go back and finish up painting that area beside the office. I am doing it myself because Rachel is preoccupied with my dog. <laughs> it's the next day and I have sourced our giant curtain rod pole, so feeling really good about that. Um, Kelsey is going to be out of the office for a lot of today, but not to worry because I have Rachel, our new production assistant, to help me out. Giant curtain rod has been secured. <laughs> so Kelsey's going to do the curtains later today, so we have to get this up and ready to hang curtains. More to go. <laughs> Before I get started on these curtains, I'm going to swing by the office and drop off a little gift. Curtain rod is basically ready. It needs to be uh, longer. I'm just trying to show you it in place. I cannot do this. Wow, looks great. Use your imagination. I'm using it. <laughs> I need to um, go get that fabric and I was gonna pick up the sewing machine. Perfect. But I also brought this from my house. Let's see if it works here. Oh, I gotta help me roll it out. Are you gonna help me roll it out? <laughs> Wait, legitimately you should. I think this matches. Yeah, I think so. The kitchen cabinets skew like a little bit blue-gray anyways. Right, this does tie into the So kitchen. that has kind of like navy in it. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, um, sounds like you need curtains for that curtain rod, so mm -hmm. I'll grab the sewing machine, I'll go get fabric, and that'll be my job today. Thank you. Oh my God, why are you so cute? I can't, I can't. <laughs> Oh my god. Danny. Keep it PG. <laughs> okay, sewing machine. So to deal with the dark area in this corner we discussed earlier, we did end up ordering a new light. I think it's gonna match really nicely with the lights we already have in the kitchen. So let's get that installed. back to that curtain rod. So this space is just so wide that the solve here is to join two rods together to make one really big curtain rod. Okay, how are you gonna drop this now? <laughs> I feel like, let me come, let me 
can hear it. I feel like this is helpful. Maybe a guide. Okay, I think you want to give it to me and then you climb up the ladder? Yeah. You got it? Yes. Okay, do you need to hold? Oh, oh man. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now, I'm going to have to take this off so it's hurting on. Yes, why are we doing? Because I want to see, see it. Let's I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> oh, no, your chart works. Okay. This is so frustrating. This pole is so heavy and so awkward to lift. We finally get it up there. And of course, it's like this much too long, but that's okay. We take it down, we have a pipe cutter, we can trim it a little bit. I think it's gonna be fine. secured, I went home and got started on these curtains. I also know that we need a couple more pieces to bring everything together like rugs and side tables, so I'm going to source those as well. So this piece of clear board has been floating around the office ever since we moved in, but I actually think we could really use it in the boardroom here, so time to give it a proper home. Okay, this was a dead plant, and these are dying because we have not taken care of them. And we don't need them anymore. I always have like weird thoughts about like the future, like when, you, when you're in the moment doing something, you never know like where it will play out in the end. Like I remember being in the old loft building this thing, and like imagine if you could know, oh in three years you're going to be actually taking it apart, <laughs> and you won't need it anymore, and it will be, all your plants will be dying. I don't know, it's weird to think about, right? I think these will be much happier in a new, a new home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I did a thing. You did a thing. <laughs> I real. It's so much better. I really like it. I like it also. I know Kelsey is not here to like give the sign off, but I kind of just want to do it to all of them. No, I think that's a good call. It just looks so much more newer. Yeah. Even though it's used. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks like so modern. Yeah. There's no way she's gonna want them back on, so I'm just gonna do it and hope for the best. Okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. This is so heavy. It doesn't look that heavy, but it is. Yeah, so much cooler. Why anyone ever put legs on us in the first place? It's just crazy. Okay, next.
This looks so much better, you guys. Those legs will certainly not be missed. I am gonna hold on to them though because I see potential for maybe a future DIY project. I don't know, good to hold them. Is that a hoarder's mentality? <laughs> <laughs> They'll be useful one day. So next up is just bringing all that furniture back in and making it look cute. Oh my god. Wow. Oh yeah, that fits under there nicely. <laughs> just kind of guessing as I was painting. Let's throw that rug down. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. better. <laughs> oh yeah, and then this mirror can come back in. We were gonna do like a stacky moment. <laughs> I think it'll be cute. Is it cute? Could it be cute? It's cute. And then we have these, which maybe are good. Okay, good work. I think this is a good place to end it, and hopefully Kelsey can come back soon and tie it all together with us. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like it? Good boy. Good boy. Daddy approved. Yay. Oh my goodness. So exciting. It's the next day, Kelsey is back in the office, time to show her what we got up to, and hopefully she likes the change to the couch. Are you ready to reveal the space to Kelsey? Yes. Yes. Oh, hello. 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 Hold on. Oh, surprises. Things. I like what I see already. Look at this though. <gasps> Yo. Is that glass? Yeah, it's like beige. We love a smoke glass, but this is like a beige smoke glass. I, I like it. Which would look good here. Which speaking of. With our new low couches, they look so good. Yeah, you're okay with the no feet? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Great, okay. I thought that was the right move. I think they look so much more modern now. Um, yeah, I almost want like a layered rug moment, but maybe that's a late that's probably <laughs> a good thing. Okay, there's definitely some things we need to do to tie this together, but. You brought the curtains. Oh my God. Yeah, are you ready to put those up? I'm so ready. And then table options, I think? Table options, and we got this. This is on lock. Yes. I picked up new handles for that cabinet, which I know we talked about. Right, right. so. Right. We'll do that. And then I think that's almost everything besides just like final styling. I'm ready. Okay, I want to do these curtains because. I'm nervous, honestly. <laughs> it's a big thing. We're gonna be using curtain hooks with clips so that it can easily slide along the rail. I feel like Becky's giving me pole vaulting lessons, but I really don't know if she's a qualified teacher. I just have not seen her pole vault like recently, <laughs> ever. <laughs> pole vaulting date? <laughs> Honestly, it was really hard to cut and measure and sew these curtains in my little apartment. I am so shocked that these aren't too short. Like I actually would have bet $100 that they were gonna be too short, so. Feeling good, <laughs> like I should. Okay, I wanna see those tables you got. No! With care. No! So we talked about maybe swapping the handles out on this cabinet for something a little bit bigger. I have a really good option. The question now is just, do we paint it or do we not? Yeah. 
Cool. And then do you paint them? I think we have to paint them. Oh, look at all my colors too. We decided on a handle color while Becky paints those. I'm gonna get to placing some of the items that I sourced. So because these handles are such a very shiny silver, the key to getting paint to stick is to sand them first to make sure it has more of a grip so the paint can stick. We're slowly finding ways to reduce the echo in our office for a recent shoot for how to go do. We actually brought in all of the rugs in our office into our studio space so that we could reduce the reverb. And it kind of worked, it helped a little bit. So we wanna keep the rugs here, but we just wanna do it aesthetically. So I'm bringing in some jute options so that we have all jute rugs here. This way they're gonna be a little bit durable too because this is our studio space where we DIY. Do you like these? I like these a lot better, even though we were both on the same page for the other ones, right? I think I was like, maybe team cream, but, but size wise. Yeah, let's not, we're not looking back, we're going forward only. Speaking of moving forward, <laughs> I think the last thing to do is like really just a couple final touches to, to really bring all these new elements together. I'm so, I'm so stoked. I'm like weirdly happy about how nice this table fits like in this curve. It's, things that are oddly satisfying. Although it's very lonely, so we should fix that. But together, it's so nice. We did it. We did it. Okay, okay. let's do more of it. All right, guys. It's been so long since we've done this, but it is final touch time. Na, na, na. This episode was so much fun. It was really satisfying to see all the spaces finally get pulled together as like one big office space. I've been waiting for this day for so long. I feel like we were doing bits and pieces. We've been here for like a year now and it finally feels like it's done. Except for the backyard actually. We do have a couple more Loft Vibes episodes. We wanna do a full like in-depth loft tour so you guys can really understand the spacing of everything. And we do have a little backyard area that I cannot wait to do so we can have barbecues when lockdown is over. But overall, I'm just, I'm a happy girl. Been waiting a long time for this day. 
If you haven't seen all of the individual makeovers, there is a whole playlist that you should definitely check out. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.